Good thing we got this bad boy because it's early. I can't put my legs on the seat. <laughs> <Too cold. laughs> All right, guys. Good morning. It is 6.15 a.m. Maddie and I are on our way to the gym. Now, we used to not go to the gym this early in the morning, but now we do. And uh, it's a lot of fun, not a lot of fun. Not by choice. <laughs> but today I'm gonna film a few things for you guys. Um, we're gonna be talking about three exercises that are commonly done wrong in the gym. We're gonna talk about them and uh, yeah. But we'll see you guys when we're at the gym and when we turn on the heat to the car. <laughs> What's her belt doing on the ground? Uh, Westo Fitness. Topic of the video, we're talking about three exercises that people commonly do incorrectly. And I wanna say that these concepts can kind of be incorporated in other exercises as well, not just these three. But it really is important to do exercises correctly. And when I talk about doing an exercise correctly, I don't necessarily mean just using like perfect form because sometimes perfect form doesn't actually exist. Um, but what I mean is just doing an exercise in a way where you can feel your muscles working the best. So we got three exercises for you guys today. Number one exercise that I see people doing incorrectly is the row. Now horizontal row like this on a cable machine or if you use a chest supported machine or whatever, um, the whole idea of a row is to work your middle back, AKA your middle traps, also your rhomboids, your scapular retractors is what we call them. And this is done by retracting the scapula, bringing your shoulder blades closer together. Um, now what I see happen is people will just use their arms to row, like kind of like this. They'll just use their arms. Um, this will actually kind of target the lats a bit, but there's so many other better movements for your lats, like any sort of pull down or things like that, where it makes it pretty pointless to do a row for your lats. Now what you should do is, like I said, retract your scapula, make sure you have a full range of motion. So you wanna let the weight pull your scapula forward, creating a stretch in your, in your scapular muscles. And then when you do pull your arm back, you want your scapula to pull together using your middle traps and your rhomboids. So that's number one. Number two is the bicep curl. I see the same mistake with dumbbells also, but for this example, we're gonna use a barbell. Um, and what I see is the elbows come back behind the midpoint um, of the frontal plane. Pearl, you don't want your elbow to go back behind you at all. Um, this creates actually like a, a straight bar path up and down with the bar that you're using to curl. And what this does, uh, I don't wanna confuse you guys too much, but in, in kinesiology and biomechanics, we'd call this a shortening of the moment arm. And if that moment arm Arm shortens basically the the weight being too close to the midline of your body it actually makes it more efficient um, which sounds good but what you're actually doing is limiting how much of the weight is being used by your bicep in this exercise we want all the weight as that we're using to be on our bicep uh, we don't want to cheat the weight whatsoever so by having the elbows slightly in front of you and not moving your elbows back at all um, you're gonna create a longer path for the bar to travel up and around um, which puts a lot more stress on the bicep. And remember, the whole idea behind this is just using the muscle as good as possible. Um, so this is definitely gonna help you do that. And lastly, we have leg raises, which I, for me is one of my favorite ab exercises, but time and time again, I see people doing it incorrectly. Now, what you don't wanna do is just lift your legs. Uh, as seen in the video, this is actually not working your abs at all, really. Um, this is mostly working just your hip flexors, and we don't wanna do that. Uh, what we wanna do is put the stress on our abs or our rectus abdominis. Now, we're gonna do that in a really simple way. We're going to actually bring our hips up with us. You wanna have this mental, um, image of your sternum and your belly button coming closer together. So kind of have that as like a mental cue while you're doing this exercise. Um, and then you're actually going to be working your abs. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's just three common exercises. I can look in the gym and I can spot these mistakes all the time. Um, if there's any other exercises that you see people doing wrong all the time, make sure to leave them in the comments and explain how you can fix it, how they can be better at it. But guys, if you haven't already, please like this video. And we are going to see you in the next video next week. So have a good one. Peace out.